Good morning. Today I want to discuss about designing for iOS 13 and more specifically what you can find in the iOS 13 UI kit by Apple and a bunch of things that I found interesting while I was exploring this UI kit. If you want to download the UI kit, you have to go to developer.apple.com design. And this is where you're going to find the human interface guidelines and you're going to have to click on design resources. And here you have access to SF symbols, but also access to the fonts and the UI kit for different platforms such as iOS and Mac OS. Specifically, I want to look at iOS for Sketch. This can also be installed directly from the library inside preferences. And in fact, it's going to detect whenever there's an update. So that's really cool. You're going to find the iOS UI kit inside insert. And here you have access to a bunch of bars, controls, device, views, and so on. But as you can imagine, there are hundreds, if not thousands of elements inside that UI kit. So you're gonna need something like Sketch Runner to allow for a better insert. So for example, if you wanna have a status bar, so we're gonna do command apostrophe and search for status bar, light. And here you're gonna be able to find what you're searching for. So now we're gonna try to recreate this contextual menu, which is very easy to do. And in terms of styling, you can't really customize, but in terms of content, you can set any menu items that you want with the SF symbol icon. So I can easily insert this element by doing command apostrophe contextual menu light. And here I have access to a bunch of these elements with previews, which is making it super easy to insert stuff like this menu right here. Now I'm going to need the items. So context menu light and I'm going to need this one, the normal one. So here I have one and I can just duplicate using option and I can do another time using command D to duplicate at the same distance over and over. But here I just need three of them. The other thing you can do now in sketch is to evenly space your elements like this by adjusting this little bar right here. So that's really neat. So now all I need to do is to create a layer of blur. So a background blur right here. I'm going to set it to 100% and disable the fill, set up the background blur. And this is another thing that I like about Sketch is that their blur has a saturation. So this replicates the vibrancy in iOS 13, but also you can have these smooth corners, which you cannot find in other design tools. So for example, if I want to set this to smooth corners, then I have a good representation of what you can find in iOS. You can play with so many other things such as the status bar, you can go from light to dark by using the overrides, or you can insert the modal light. And here you can just replicate the way that iOS 13 has this modal navigation. I just need to adjust the spacing a little bit and voila. And I can also insert the activity view. We have light and dark mode. And here I'm going to be able to just drag in to my layout. Another element that is very popular is the tab bar and we can just place it right here. You can position it next to the uh, home indicator and then you can resize it and it has the correct constraints. You just need to put it underneath the home indicator like this. What's also really cool about the UI kit is that it uses SF symbols. So if I search for home, I can just copy this right here and then go to the overrides and find the symbol and paste, press enter and voila. That's what I wanted to explore with you today. I'm actually building a design for iOS 13 course as we speak. And this course is going to focus on all of these hidden techniques. What are the tips and tricks to design effectively for iOS? Please subscribe to this channel to hear more about my future courses and also about these techniques that I'm sharing on YouTube. Thank you so much.